Hey guys, Uncle Jonah here, back again, uh, back with the beer review. Um, of course, that's why you're here. You're going to watch me do beer reviews. And this one, I've been. This one has been in a box for a few months purely because uh, I have <laughs> my my other half, my better half, she who must be obeyed, um, is very seasonal, um, ridiculously so. Um, and I, it's rubbed off on me, um, and I, as I've probably told you guys, um, before, I like drinking dark beers, um, especially in the wintertime, and it's still kind of wintertime now, so, uh, this one I've had since probably mid last year sometime, and it's been in a box because I've got a dark box, and I've got a light box, and then I've got another box, which is kind of mixed, and crazy things and special editions and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, it's a shame because this beer is an absolute beauty. Oh, we're gonna, there we go. City of Cake, the Chocolate Fudge Cake Stout by Hamilton, Hamilton Brewery, which as you might know, um, is from London, mate. Welcome to London. It's from Islington, in fact. Um, if any of you have heard of a prison called Pentonville, it's just across the road from there. Um, so if the prisoners escape, they can jump over the fence, get right into a brewery and get shit-faced. Um, so have a look at this bit. Hamilton Brewery, uh, a deep and rich chocolate milk stout, uh, balancing roasted coffee, chocolate notes, with the sweetness followed by fudge and caramel aromas. Followed by aromas? Weird. Usually aromas come first, my friends. We shall see. I think they mean in, in the mouthfeel and all that kind of stuff. Now, the other thing, I'll give you a secret. If you give the can a bit of a squeeze, like I'm doing now, you can generally tell if it's going to explode or not. Um, this can earlier on today was quite taut, like a like a drum skin. Um, so I've had it sitting in the fridge for a while, and now it's got a little bit of a flex in it. So I'm hoping that me putting it in the fridge means oh doesn't explode. And yes, it didn't explode. Let's get this bad boy into the glass. Let's try and force a bit ahead. Always good. The only downside with this beer is it's in a th it's in a three thirty, not a not a pint. Anyway, never mind. Wow, look at that! Definitely a stout, dark as the ace of spades. It's got over a finger's head, but it's a lovely, lovely clear, white, creamy head. Just off white, I should say. Wow, my God. It's full of Cadbury goodness. And <laughs> you can have a treat. A finger of fudge is just enough to give your girl a treat. Um, yeah, man. <laughs> I'm getting ridiculous fudge. Or, it's not just fudge, it's like fudge and, and chocolate, um, like a sort of, what are those sweets they got fudge in, like a Rolo, a Rolo, <laughs> you know, not a Polo, a Rolo, that you're supposed to give your, uh, your better and, and, and lovely half, the last one, I tend to eat all of them in one go. Oh, silky smooth. Wow. Silky smooth up front. Drops off into chocolate get, with a ridiculous sweetness. And there's a caramel again. Wow. Caramel fudge kind of sweet thing going on. But the chocolate is like a, um, it's, 
it's like a, a hot chocolate. Do you know what I mean? It's that sort of chocolate. It's not really dark, bitter chocolate. It's milk chocolate, uh, like sweets. It's like sweets. They've, they've got a beer and then just chuck loads of sweets in. Um, the other thing I should say, and I should have said, just come to mind, is, and does it say on the can? Yeah, it does, right at the bottom there. If that bad boy is going to focus. Focus, focus. Come on and focus. 5.5 on the ABV. So maybe I should be thankful that it's not in a bigger can. But no, I'm greedy. I want a big can and I want a strong beer. Wow, this, this is absolutely ridiculous. Really sweet, chocolate, maybe a bit of mocha. So there's a little bit of a little bit of coffee, but not much, not much, and very, very sweet coffee too. And then you've got this ridiculous sweetness, which is it must be lacto. It must be damn it. Damn you. Let's have a look. Yes. Look on those ingredients. Wow. Of course it's not gonna focus. You gonna focus? Yeah, ingredients up here. Water, barley, wheat, hops, yeast, and yes, lacto. Shamon. Shamon to the lacto. Um yeah man. Wheat malt, that's interesting. I mean, it's not super alcoholic. It's not super hot. Um, but I think they've upped the sweetness, upped the lacto a little bit because this is like five and a half. Um, now that I'm kind of settling down and I'm... <laughs> damn it. That's the other problem with having a 330. Jesus, it's all gone already. Um, but I am beginning to get that... That hot... That hotness which comes with alcohol. Um, luckily, I'm not driving tonight. Um, no, officer, I've just had a couple of ales. Ooh. Wow, quite well carved as well. Wow, I love it. This is an assault on the senses. Yeah. I tell you what, it's almost a bit boozy on the kind of um, on the nose as well. Um, and this is weird, but I'm going to it's almost like a kind of I'm getting a little bit of like rum and coke. Do you know what I mean? From like a, like a dark rum and coke, like um, I don't know, Woods or something. No, Woods is ridiculous. Um, like a navy, old navy rum that you used to drink um, under the bridge with your mates when you were 16. Or you did if you had mates like me. <laughs> you get a little, little small bottle of rum, a hip flask maybe version of rum. Fill everyone up and then, oh, I'm so pissed. Um, well, probably were in those days. But yeah, it's got that kind of thing going on. I mean, the chocolate, you can't. You can't not smell the chocolate. But it's kind of boozy too. It, this is so weird because it's only five and a half. That's not ridiculously boozy, but the aroma kind of gives away that it's a slightly stronger beer. You know, there's some beers, right? And they're fucking strong and you drink them and you're sitting down and you're like, oh, and they, I'll have a second one, please, barman. Have the second one go up to or step up to go to the loo and your legs go all wobbly and stuff and of course my chair that I put together is making some knocking no noises because I fucked it up um <laughs> you can tell actually Jesus Christ is this five percent maybe it's stronger <coughs> no but um hopefully you know what I mean um some beers you drink or some drinks you drink 
um, and you think that's not very alcoholic at all. And it is. And other drinks like this bad boy, they taste a lot more alcoholic than they actually are. And that's not a bad thing. So actually, because we're in the UK, I can have a look at this. Uh, there we go. Go back to the alcoholic little box down at the bottom. If it will focus, my dear hocus pocus. 2.4 UK units. And, and come on, focus on me, you bad boy. And the driving limit in the UK is two, I think. It's a pint, isn't it? Um, so yeah, by drinking this bad boy, should I get pulled over? And I am quite a large man. Um, but should I get pulled over, I may get in trouble. So maybe I won't pull over. Maybe I'll just floor the car and drive off and become one of those uh, late night TV police chases. You know, they're the ones my girlfriend likes to watch in the wee hours. So she'll see me on TV then. <laughs> anyway, almost at the end. Jesus Christ, this has been a long beer review. Almost at the end of this beer. Well, I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. Let's let's finish it off. Um, guys, this has been Uncle Jonah here. Um, I am planning something quite special upcoming. So if you're watching this um, beer review to the end, and I hope, I hope you are, <coughs> I'm planning something very, very special for March. Um, as... As you probably know, uh, 2021 wasn't a good year for me, but equally it wasn't as good as my best friend, basically my best friend in the world, who was from school, uh, who died, uh, Jim, his name was. Um, yeah, he died uh, in December. Holy fuck, like bolt out of the blue. One day he was here, one day gone. Anyway. His birthday is in uh, March, or what was in March. Um, so for March, I'm planning to do a shed load of beer reviews, because he liked his beer, that sneaky old bastard, he liked his beer. Um, I'm going to drink a lot of reviews uh, of beers and review them from his favourite brewery, which is Vocation, uh, up in Hebden Bridge, up there. Yeah up there, up there somewhere. So yeah, I'm going to um, try and get as many nice, strange beers, because I know you can get vocation in, in the supermarkets in the UK. Um, and basically, one of the widely, widely, widely available beers is one that you can get everywhere. So on his birthday, which is the 25th of March, I'm going to drink a very special beer <sighs> do a review it's a friday actually um i might even try and do a live stream i've not done one of those on youtube before i used to do them all the time on justin tv and and all that shit back in the day um yeah you guys let me know if you're still listening to this it's been jesus christ it's been well over 10 minutes which is long for me um yeah so i'm gonna try do a live stream or something. I'm going to do something special on the 25th. But what I'm going to try and do is drink lots of vocation beers uh, throughout March for my best pal, my best bud. Um, yeah. Big Jim. They call him One-Eyed Jim. Because there's only one eye in Jim. <laughs> anyway, before I'm, I get to emotional uh especially because i'm drinking a semi-strong beer um i'm gonna leave it there cheers and beers guys i'll see you real soon for me uh, more beers and more wrongness i told you this is a boozy beer but jesus christ five and a half i'm just a lightweight man that's what covid does to you it makes you go lightweight <laughs> cheers and beers guys we'll see you real soon for more wrongness and hopefully you'll go down the uh, vocation beer rabbit hole with me during March. Cheers and beers, guys. See you real soon.